Hello YouTube, I am Pinstar, and this is Banished Strategy and Tactics, the real episode 26. I uh, increasingly am unable to uh, pronounce the correct uh, uh, number of episodes during these intros. I apologize, this is the real uh, Slim Shady episode 26. I don't know where I was going with that joke. Anyway, so when we last left our intrepid city of Ficklewood, we had a rather in interesting attack. Two spawns of vampires and our, of course, the uh, two shadows of Vendral and... Oh, wait a minute. No, that was... Uh, eh, that's my... Uh, that's Ficklewood in my Warlock game. We have no such worries about... Uh, uh, no such worries here in Ficklewood in the world of Banish. No vampires, no dragons. Um, what we do have is uh, a constantly dwindling supply of firewood that we are constantly uh, fighting against. So, uh, let's see if we uh, can't do something about that. Now, I noticed a fundamental weakness in uh, my uh, development here. I don't think I'm going to tear the whole thing down, but I'm going to point it out as you can learn from my mistake. So, um, in our last episode, we had a uh, slurry of people have the uh, uh, temporary march of death when they were working on building the town up down here and then were returning to their jobs all the way up here. Um, and being that we have a large chunk of our population located in a corner, that means that any uh, development towards this side of the map uh, is going to be uh, causing potentially lethal marches of death. So in, if, if I were to do Ficklewood all over again, I would actually be focusing the, uh, the areas of my construction right here, uh, especially when it comes to farmers, uh, right here towards the center of the map. So that way when farmers go off to do their uh, off-season labor tasks, uh, whenever you build something, they are not walking all the way across the map. They're at the very most walking only halfway across the map. Uh, so a little tip for you there. Um, okay, so uh, the other thing we learned is, yes, this little stream here connects this lake up to uh, 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 trading, uh, makes it available for trading posts. And that means I can go absolutely insane with trading posts. So let's do that. Actually, let's um, let me before I go crazy with trading posts. Let me go crazy with some other forms of uh, seaside things and see if there are any other good sites for a fishing dock. We've got a real nice spot right here, uh, which we already have the dock built. Um, I think yeah, right right here would be a pretty solid choice for a dock. And um. I'd say, yeah, I'd say right about there. Uh, not that we need the fish, but might as well, if we're going to be tapping into this real estate, might as well uh, tap into the fish efficiently. <laughs> efficiently. <laughs> uh, I wasn't even planning that one. Uh, trading post. All right, let's 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 uh, lay down as many of these uh, bad boys as we can. Again, just uh, because we can. that we got that this is absolutely going to destroy our uh, uh, resources um, but uh, that's okay all right our, uh, can I squeeze you in here can I no no maybe yes no okay no here I'm going to be pausing all of these and building them one at a time so I just don't completely annihilate my uh, my supplies of everything trying to build all of them at the same time because that would be well slightly more silly than I am being right now I am being rather silly but there is something to be said about trading posts and the more trading posts you have the more ships will visit your uh, place um, and the more ships, the more trades you can do, and it is entirely possible. There have been players that have proved that you can um, build and maintain an entire town's economy on nothing but trading ships. Absolutely nothing but trading ships. Um, 
you know, buy, basically buying and selling everything you need um, and not having to, more specifically stone and iron, not, not having to build any quarries and not having to build any uh, um, uh, mines for coal or iron. Um, because we already have built ourselves one mine and one quarry, I'm not going to just stop using them, especially because we're going to probably need a burst of uh, supplies here for uh, uh, for all of these buildings. Um, but uh, at the very least, can you guys, yeah, you guys can go around here. Can you? You cannot. Hmm. Poop. Well, let's, uh, let's see if we can't remedy that. Get rid of that and move you... Well, first let's build the road. There we go. And see if we can't squeeze ourselves a trading post in here, maybe? Yes! Excellent! All right, um, and starting with uh, starting with it down here, I'm just going to start pausing these things, and we're going to play Ring Around the Lake uh, in terms of finishing these things. And one, oh, one other thing I can do again, just uh, for uh, part for efficiency and part because we can, is um, get a uh, marathon bridge going here. No, no. Don't like that? Yeah, what don't you like about that? Maybe this one? Yes? No? Maybe so? Alright, so that block it likes. Aha! Excellent. So we got that going, and that way we can get goods from this side to that side, should we require them. I don't think I'm going to make one go the other way because, well, down here is just a giant mountain. Okay, so we've got ourselves that. That. That, and our first order of business is this trading post. Now, as far as housing goes, um, I'm actually going to, instead of uh, locating all the housing near these places, I'm going to locate it all around here, this market right here. Um, so yeah, can, um, uh, is this, will this support a double wide? Just barely not. Poop. Alright, well I'll find something else for that. And might as well have the game running while I'm doing this. There, there, and there, and finish you off with there, there, and there. Get a couple of roads. And right there. Excellent. Okay, uh, yeah, let's get some builders. These houses will also actually... Since I built a bunch of tailors up here, um, we are going to be um, building some houses. Actually, right along here will be our, our um, housing for these tailors, since it's skirting the edge of, uh, of this forest hub. One, two, one, two, one, two. So three more houses. Perfect. One, two, three. And please have stone. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, you guys are exactly what I need, because I, uh, I have just hit... I, I am going to be annihilating that stone right now, and 2200 stone is exactly what I need. Uh, and you're the kind of... you're the general goods merchant, which means I can offload all of this excess food that I've got stockpiled here. So, let's do that. 500 mutton, and 2,000 walnuts, and 3,000 fish. Um... Wow, that's still not going to do it. Let's, uh... Whew. 
Well, let's down let's down tick our our, our trade here just to uh, exchange what we can, and then I'll let my uh, my stuff refill. Not enough space to store all the items. Of course not. Um, I'm overpaying by twenty five hundred units. Start down ticking these fish. Just do 500. Not enough space, of course not. Uh, close enough. All right, so we uh, we're gonna need all hands on deck here to get this uh, place cleared out. Oh boy, I see a march of nomads coming. Oh boy, well. That I'm, I'm making it a rule for myself, always accept all nomads, no matter what. So, how many do we have here? 21! Alright, we have not gotten into ludicrous levels of nomads, so come on in! And <laughs> no, uh, no homeless, surprisingly. So uh, we are uh, ahead of the game with housing, and uh, so they're uh, all immediately going to be put to use here. Uh, especially with this burst of building I'm doing. Alright, so we still have this, and we do not want you to go away. We want more goodies. Have you emptied out the stone that I have already purchased? Yes, no you have not, but you're getting there. You're stacking it up nice and tall right over there. Um, yeah, it's good. always good to have a uh, stockpile right across from here so you can empty out these gigantic stone purchases. And once this area is empty of stone, I will uh, make another trade here with my remaining supplies. Come on, 35 more. You can do it. Two more. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so I've got 2,500 fish and all this firewood. And this firewood is uh, definitely worth it. even trade and that is almost all of the stone and yeah I'm just gonna need you guys to bring me more stuff although I have a feeling that stone's gonna slip away before you because you're gonna be busy emptying the stone but you know what I bought enough of the stuff that uh, I'm happy with my purchase oh and you uh, you're gonna be looping around to our uh, other place here eh. And you are getting coal. You're, I'm going to switch you temporarily over to iron. Ooh. Gonna... Oh yeah, and that's the other thing I think I'm going to do here is, um, since we are in the neighborhood, collect any stone and uh, collect any iron that is uh, nearby. Yeah, big old conga line of uh, stone dropping off there. Oh, and speaking of, one other bit of transportation I want to do is uh, hook you guys up with these guys. That way I can get uh, tap into the rest of my network and... Oh, okay. Sheep and cattle. Nope. you guys iron and stone yep uh, unfortunately you're only going to be good for the firewood but i'll trade what i got 545 for stone oops 
overpaying by 100 units. So 70, 20 units. There we go. Trade. Excellent. And while I am thinking of it, since I don't have it quite yet already, uh, we are going to get ourselves a nice big stockpile right here. This will serve a couple of these different ones. Um, and this will also help uh, make it faster to deliver the stones since we just bought a local supply of the stuff. And this, once again, is going to absolutely destroy my, uh... Yeah, you know, why did I put you guys over to iron? You need to go back to coal. Alright, so... Yep, all of our jobs are being filled. Uh, still little spurts of uh, hunger uh, marches, but no uh, no deaths from from uh, from that yet. So it has not become a uh, problematic level of uh, instances here. All right, more births, more people doing well. And I am at the stone limit? No, 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 no. You guys keep working. No such thing as a stone limit, please. Oh, so many people. Oh yeah, and these new houses too. Not that, uh, not that I need them, but it'll definitely help. And once again, we are at uh, fuel shortage levels. Well, that's because I keep trading away all of my firewood. I should probably hold off on doing that, but... Ah, uh, the stone. One cannot resist the call of the stone. Aha! So you are going to get four... Uh, and, uh, yeah, you guys form more traders. We'll keep you employed. And you guys, what are you going to stock? You're going to stock alcohol, because that's going to be the... Uh, I'm going to wean my, my traders off of firewood, and I'm going to go full bore on alcohol. So you're going to get a thousand ale. A thousand ale. There we go. I can count. Uh, and you're also going to get 5,000 fish, because I have a supply of those. And let me see what else there do I have in excess. The other thing I'm going to see is if I have excess brewable stuff, I might get some more taverns uh, so I can even further increase uh, berries. I need more berry brewers. I need two more berry brewers, I'm going to say. I need more cherry brewers. My brewers cannot keep up with the alcohol. Uh, and plum brewers. I am... Uh, okay, brew... Uh, I think I'm going to cut it right here, but in our next episode, we are going to make that alcohol flow so our traders have something to uh, to take home and our people can actually utilize the firewood they have and not get uh, not constantly get cold. Uh, so if you uh, like this episode, you want to see more of it, uh, give me uh, give me a, a hit that subscribe button, drop me a like, and most importantly, leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, I welcome your feedback. So until next time, this is Pinstar signing out. See you later.